top of the mountain when you're dealing with wind and weather. Um, one of the things you have to be really careful about is your tent doesn't blow off while you're setting it up. I've had, I've heard of stories of guys losing their tent during that during setup. So I'll stake down all four corners, make sure it's on a good flat spot, make sure all the rocks are clear, and then I'll start with the the two long poles. This is a double hoop and truss, so the poles go parallel to each other. I'll throw poles in the eyelets. Stick down, it goes a little bit easier than if it's not. Let me set it up this way. And the poles then hoop across. So I'll go through and set up, clip in all four of these. And I'll go to the two center ones, just lay those over. Like this. It's a tape, tent shape. And then now you just have to clip in. Design this tent, the poles on the outside, for a couple of reasons. One's a quick setup, especially in a storm. Inside of your tent stays dry. It sinks in a lot of wind and weather. You get the fly over the top of these poles rubbing. Um, abrasion happen. And, uh, tear off the coating and make tents leak. So we get lo longer longevity, longevity out of these tents. Plus, external poles, tents just go up a lot faster. It's a one step process. We call our truss pole. Connecting this other eyelet, you wanna make sure it goes over the top of the poles. Some guys put it underneath and that's the incorrect location. And this is gonna give you the final tension on the tent. Then you click these in. Stake out your vegetables. And you are. Set up that quick. Mountain Star and Storm Star tents come with guidelines. But you want to wrap either the cord or the webbing around that tent pole versus just coming having it come out of the seam. It'll help helps take some of the pressure off the seam. We want to, what we call, guy out the tent. You can see here, this is a, essentially a cleat that you can release and it creates back tension. So this lets you get your stakes out. You want to get as much geometry on the guy out as you can to help support the tent in bad weather. So the further out you can get the angle on it, the better. Put the stake down in there. You can either step on it or use a rock to put it in. I'm going to stack rocks on all of our anchor points to make sure if um, the wind gets up really hard, it doesn't pull our stakes out and blow your tent off the mountain. I've seen it happen. All of the Mountain Star and Storm Star tents are well ventilated. You get a front vent and a back vent with a kick, what we call a kickstand, which is this webbing and forced tube. And so you want to make, you pop these open. You can zip from the inside to either put out the vent or take it down if you get a storm. Sometimes you get the wind blowing, rain or spin drift through this, so you can shut it from the inside. You wanna make sure you get those open if there's no bad weather because it really helps with condensation. There you have it. That's how I set up the Mountain Star on a mountain.